A new Gallup poll shows that a majority of Americans want a single-payer Medicare for All system. Now, uh, this comes from people who are asked their opinions of three separate scenarios for the future of the current health care law, uh, the Affordable Care Act, also colloquially known as Obamacare. Now, according to this poll, 58% to 37% said they would like to see the 2010 health care law replaced with Medicare for all. Now, for those of you who might be unfamiliar, who hasn't, haven't watched the show before, uh, Medicare for all is Bernie Sanders' health care plan. That's the plan that he's out there saying, this is what I want to push for. We should have universal health care coverage through Medicare. That's pretty solid, right? And as far as being solid, 58% almost 60% majority saying that, hey, uh, we're tired of our for-profit healthcare companies. We're tired of insurance companies taking advantage of us and screwing us over with high deductibles and high premiums. We would rather have a single-payer healthcare system. 58% and with 37% opposed. And I'm sure there is a small group of people who have no idea. Interesting. So, now, among Democrats, and I'm going to break down the numbers here, and those leaning towards the party, 73% to 22% said that they would support Bernie Sanders' Medicare for All plan. That is nearly three quarters of the party. Wow. Among Republicans and Republican-leaning independents, 41% would support a Medicare for All system, and 55% would oppose. Now, those numbers are a little surprising and also a little unsurprising. Now, What's surprising is that there are 41% that said, yes, let's give Medicare for all. These are Republicans, right? Now, what's unsurprising is still the amount of people who were opposed, saying that, eh, you know, hey, that's socialism and we don't like that. Now, these are also the people that ironically say, get your government hands off my Medicare. <laughs> They've got no idea what a single payer system is, but at least 41% of them says, are, are saying, yeah, that actually sounds pretty good. I like universal health care. I don't like the for-profit health insurance companies. And then there's a lot of them that are probably saying, I just don't like that Obamacare. There's got to be something better. There's got to be something better. Well, there is. <laughs> Medicare for all. See, here's the thing. That is the actual truly progressive plan. What we have now was the Republican plan. This is like Newt Gingrich, Heritage uh, Foundation, you know, Heritage Care, Romney Care, okay? And yeah, it's better than the system that we had previously, but this is the right-wing health reform, not true progressive health care reform, which is what Bernie Sanders is offering. And 41% of Republicans say, hey, you know what? That actually sounds like a good idea. You gotta love that. Now, uh, they also asked about repealing the Affordable Care Act. Now, 51% uh, to 45% expressed support. Now, 80% of Republicans said, get rid of Obamacare. Now, I wonder if that name, you know, having Obama in the name saying that it's Obamacare or Affordable Care Act uh, has anything to do with that. Now, it doesn't. Uh, because actually, um, they didn't say who the, uh, uh, these health care plans actually belong to, who was advocating for what. And they said Affordable Care Act. So, okay. But here's the thing. You hear the word Obamacare, and you're going to have some sort of visceral, visceral reaction to it if you're a Republican. Now, obviously, Democrats are mostly opposed to repealing the Affordable Care Act. In terms of keeping the health care as it is, 48% said they would support that, Why 49% said they, that they would oppose. So there's a majority that would actually change the, the health care law and not leave it the way that it is, but it's within the margin of error. Now, 79% to 19% of Democrats uh, and Democratic-leaning independents voiced their support for keeping Obamacare, just keeping it and keeping it as is while 82% to 16% of Republicans want to get rid of it. So, here's the interesting thing, right? Democrats kind of like are having it both ways here. Yeah, Obamacare is fine, but, you know, single-payer, 
That's also cool. We'll do that too. Anything's better than what we had before. Fair enough, man. It's pretty fascinating. But once again, as I got to mention, the most interesting thing is that when you count Republican support for single payer, more people overall would support a Bernie Sanders style Medicare for all proposal than would support Obamacare. It's actually a more popular program. And this is despite all of the hit pieces, all of the scaremongering by the media. Remember the Washington Post uh, posting that article, $17 trillion in debt, all spelled out in zeros, as if, as if to elicit some sort of sticker shock, like, oh my God, that looks so expensive. While not including the fact that we already spend on our healthcare system nationally, $21 trillion. It doesn't factor in what we've already spent on healthcare. They're making it seem as if we're tacking that number on and they're scaring the crap out of people. But even with that, it's not working. And you've got all the, re uh, the rhetoric about socialism from Republican politicians. And even with that, 41% of Republicans are still like, hey, you know what? I don't care. Medicare is pretty awesome. <laughs> I like it. I'm sure you would like it too. <laughs> That's amazing. That is amazing. And see, this is why Bernie Sanders has crossover appeal, much more than Hillary Clinton. Because you remember, Hillary Clinton, she wants to keep everything the same. Like, eh, she's status quo, like, let's keep Obamacare as it is. Because it sounds good, right? Yeah, the Affordable Care Act. We made a little bit of progress on that by adopting a right-wing uh, plan, and now I want to uh, preserve it. I want it all to stay the same. Something the Democrats are like, well, okay, sure, we could go along with that, but single-payer would be awesome, too. In fact, there are actually more Democrats, 79%, that said that I'd rather, you know, hey, we'll, we'll, keep, we'll keep Obamacare. It sounds great. It, it works. It's all right. Versus 73% who said, let's go to a single payer. Not much different, right? Now, this idea, as I mentioned, it's not only super popular with Democrats. It's actually far more uh, popular among Republicans than the Republican health care plan that we have now which as I mentioned, is the Affordable Care Act. And you can't look at these polls and continue to discount that Bernie Sanders is a stronger candidate in the general election because it turns out that more people agree with him on policies. He's got Democratic support, he's got independent support, and on these policies, he's even got a majority Republican support or minority Republican support, but still way more than what Hillary Clinton could get. And you know why? It's because he's standing up against the health insurance industry, who's been screwing us for decades upon decades. Higher premiums, deductibles, you know, junk insurance that didn't even cover anything. And now this plan, which is essentially nothing more than a giveaway to the health insurance corporations. He's been fighting against that. And he's been wanting to set up a healthcare system for everyone that already works. There's a reason why seniors on Medicare don't want you to touch it. It's because it works. It's because they like it. And they don't mind to see it expanded to other people. But see, the health insurance industry and all their lobbyists and politicians, well, they're fighting to make sure that Bernie Sanders never gets a chance to push for this if he gets into office by making sure he doesn't. And the thing is though, when an idea becomes so popular that across the aisle, people can agree on it, the more you try to destroy that idea, the more popular that idea ends up getting. And pretty soon, I'm gonna let you guys know there's gonna be a wake up call. When the majority of people get so loud that not even Washington can ignore it. And that time may not happen this election cycle May not happen the next midterm, but I can guarantee that time is coming.